and this is the current state of the Boybot project, which we've been working on for about three years. Um, these are exactly the same uh, Boybots. What's different is the top of top. So we've got two tops. Uh, one that we think is the ideal for the starting line, um, and the other one here, the rotating top, which is suitable for all other boys. Uh, it clearly identifies uh, if a boat comes into contact with the top. Uh, the downside of these is uh, that there is quite a bit of windage, so if you're above that 18, 20 knot mark, then uh, these round ones are, are preferred uh, just to take care of that windage. So as you see, we've got uh, two very high quality motors, propellers, they're deliberately throttled back to 50% of their capacity, so we've got plenty of capacity. Uh, the batteries in these have proven to last in excess of eight hours, um, and we recommend uh, two types of batteries. Um, and very lightweight, as you see, natural handle on the top here. Uh, been developing these for three years, and we're going to continue to develop them because we know we're onto something that helps the radio sailing community out. So what we have now the ability to do, we can demonstrate them uh, at, a later, at a later point, is you can uh, launch them and operate them individually in manual mode, where you point them in the direction you want and you tell them to go to a particular distance. Um, or you can do that semi-automatically in that you can tell the boy to take a compass bearing for a particular distance and hit the trundle button as we call and off it'll go and when it gets to that point anchors up and stays there within the, the limits of the GPS technology. So if you can do that to one, you can do that for the whole course. You can set six boys up like that, connect them each to each other. So if you choose to move the whole course up or back or move the start line wider or narrower or rotate the whole course around the principal, uh, the boat end uh, if you like, if you're used to big boat sailing, uh, you have that ability. So forward, backwards, sideways and rotation as a complete fleet. We've got orders uh, underway to uh, four overseas countries at the moment and uh, a lot of interest from local clubs uh, here in Australia. And how long the batteries last? Uh, th this particular one will last in excess of eight hours on the water and the hand control of battery about the same period of time. If I look at my screen here, I can tell of those four boys what their status is. So they're either anchored or they're moving. All, yep. these, all these are anchored. Yes. And I can bind one to the other. So right now, that, those four boys, number one is the right-hand end of the line. Yep. Number two is the left-hand end of the line. Yes. Which is typical for your sailing course. You've got a pin in and a boat end. Yes. And mimicking, mimicking, of course, you've got number five, which is the top top mark, and three, which is the bottom mark. So yep. if the PRO was to say, hey, um, the line is too long, then I'd change the controller here to say, hey, talk to number two and make my line shorter. Yep. And I can, by changing the distance now on here, and I can just hit that start and number two will come in closer to, to number it, one. Yeah. Yep. And it does so according to the angle of the breeze that you've told the controller yes. to operate from. So you can see five is moving as well. Yes. Because you want, as a course compresses, you want to change the relativity of your top and bottom mark. Yes, yes, yes. So in this case, so now if the make the make the course a bit wider again, the start a bit wider. Off she goes. And number three will adjust to be in the centre of the course. Yep. If there's any alignment there. And sure. five accordingly will will we'll, yeah. we'll move, yep. There the windward mark. Yep. There it goes. And there you go. So that's stopped at about twelve metres. Yep. So let's assume now so we we are looking I've got the, there is a compass rose on here, we are looking northwest. Yep. So let's assume that the breeze is going to change around further to the west so I'll tell the units here to make a small change to the course to the west and what we're expecting to see is that three will go to the right five will go to the left and two will come towards us because the whole course is going to rotate around number one yes 
So I've made a small change on here to say go a bit to the west. I'll hit start on here. And here comes number two towards us. Yep. There goes number three to our right. There goes number five. Yeah. Fantastic. And my screen here tells me that they're moving. T for trundle. And when they've reached their designated mathematical position, they'll stop and they'll anchor. So I'll get a, a message saying that they're anchored. Yep. And there's your, there's your realignment. Yeah, realignment for your course. For the yep. course. So let's go back a little bit, back to the north again, which is again to our right. Let's come back, and I'll bring the, I'll bring the start line a little bit closer together. Oh, let's start. And the ability, the, the key question is, how well do they stay on their designated station? Yes. Um, these are the MQ-10 MARTAC GPS, and their promise is around about a metre and a half from that position. Interesting. Yep. And as you see, they if you if you get all the rest of the, the tuning right, they don't move much. Mm. Yes, they will, but so do boys who are yeah. already at anchor. Well, that's right. Yeah. So if someone then said, hey, we want to move the course, the whole course off the bank, I can just go to number one. Go to number one. There you go. You've got to be very deliberate with this process and give it time. There's a lot going on. They're talking to satellites. probably up to 20 odd satellites. And now I'm going to say to number one, hey, move. Uh, I don't think I've got an option to move anywhere between five and 100 metres. So I'll move this guy about 10 or 15 metres and I'm going to move it to, where are we now? We're facing northwest. I'll, I'll say we're going to move it in that general direction. So all these boys are tied together and they're tied together around number one. Hit trundle until I get an audible signal. And now they're all going to follow one wow. in yes. the same geometry yes. as they were previously, but realign 12 metres yep. to the northwest. And when they do, I'll get a message saying that number one is anchored. In position. And you'll see it visually that it's going to anchor. glasses off so you can see what I'm doing. So we've still got 15 metres to go, so yes. you know, it's travelling quite a distance. Yes. But we can interrupt all that and say, oh, right, we, we've gone far enough, we're, happy we're overestimated. That, yeah. So I'm just going to anchor number one where it is. And the others will keep moving until they're in their relative position. position. And here you see And only number five, boom. So they've yep. all pulled up. There you go. Yep. And if it's end of day, playtime over, bring them all home. Push the home button. Audible signal. And here they come all. They're all coming home. Like cows coming in to be milked. Like cows. And they will stop within five metres of where we are. Okay. I think home is where the controller is, yes. and they'll stop within five minutes, which means they're going to run aground.